USA has the people who know the importance of following through, just as we have always followed through in time of world, national, and community need. We are proud of our record of getting big jobs, seemingly undoable jobs, done. It's a record unsurpassed by any city anywhere in the world. But not surprising when you consider that Detroit pools one of the world's greatest reservoirs of organizational talent. The kind of men the country and the community have called on before to move mountains and who ask only where would you like them moved and by when. These men are attracted to Detroit by the unique demands of America's number one industry, the pivot point of the nation's economy. The kind of men who like nothing better than being told something can't be done because they've never done it before. I realize these are maybe the toughest set of negotiations the UAW has faced in maybe 20 years. What are your hopes going into this? Do you have expectations? The UAW, even though these times are very difficult, is as strong as it's ever been. And uh, under the leadership of President Ryan Gettlefinger, we will deliver what we need to deliver to make sure that our memberships are secure. Um, you know, like the, the one brother said, that the two tier is very unpopular on the floor. Uh, and I know that that's not something that the international wants to negotiate. But do you think that there's a possibility of a world line? I don't think anything on that until the uh, until negotiations have started. I don't know if that's going to be an issue or if it's not going to be an issue. Um, I'm probably not the right guy to interview, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. What about Why not? Uh, what about it? Uh, do you feel like we'll be able to hold the line on health care since they made concessions? I think under the, under the leadership of Ryan Gettlefinger and, and Vice President Cal Rapson, we will do our very best to deliver a good contract. Thank you okay. very much. All right. Are you on the national Yes, I am. UAW Ford. Thank you. Ford. UAW Ford. Um, this may be the toughest set of negotiations UAW has faced in how long have you been there? 40, 40 years. 40 years? Yeah. Is it the toughest you think it's Yes, yes, yes. It's definitely going to be the toughest we ever faced. Now, Ford seems to be in the worst position. Is it your feeling that you know you have less of a chance to, to win anything or hold the line? Absolutely not, and I, and I think that that, from a media standpoint, that people feel that Ford is in the worst position. Uh -huh. um, from a leadership and being internal, I don't feel that Ford is in the worst of, of the bargaining positions. I think all of the, of the big three um, have the same um, feats up against them. Um, Health care is a big issue, um, and uh, protecting our members' jobs and, our, and their wages. Um, so, no, I don't feel like Ford is an unfair advantage. However, uh, Ford is in the process of restructuring to become a smaller company. So with those challenges alone and, and, and reducing our workforce, that is a challenge. With, with the health care, because uh, Jim and Ford made concessions last year, do you think that maybe is off the table this year? Um, or will they want more? That's, I that's, know a, that's that, speculation. Yeah, that's speculation. Um, I, I wouldn't be shocked at anything that the company may propose. However, the union is prepared to defend um, our members' cost of living, our wages, and our health care is in the forefront. Um, I heard, uh, like the one brother said, the two tier is very unpopular on the floor. And I know it's, it's not preferable to anybody in the international league, um, but like you said, protecting jobs and wages. So there's a balance. In order to save the jobs, will we have to reduce wages for new hires? Um, going into negotiations, how do you think we can balance that, or you can balance that in negotiations? Do you think we'll have to compromise on two-tier? In negotiations, compromising is key if you want to be successful, to have a win-win strategy. However, um, at this time, I can't comment to what the UAW strategy going in. I'll tell you, however, that in the long term, especially understanding that numbers is key to our strength, if we have to have concessions in certain areas to guarantee long term, then we might have to consider it. Sometimes are necessary to retain the to retain long-term strength. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Absolutely, that's what I say.
Well, sometimes you have to take a step back in order, or to the side in order to move up. So. Very well said. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anything that you'd like to add, that, you know, your expectations going on? My expectations is only to be able to listen uh, what the members want us to deliver to the leadership team, to be able to come back with something that is very comparable to what we have today. Secondly, I, I, just for the public to understand that the union are not the uh, renegades, greedy, money-hungry people that the media sometimes pans us out to be that definitely we are in the forefront of leadership trying to help a company rebuild itself as well as maintain the integrity of our membership's livelihoods. Very good, thank you. Very, very, nice. very well said. I couldn't have said it no better. Going into those these negotiations, as tough as they are, it's going to be maybe the toughest, is it the toughest you've ever seen? Uh, well, this will be my fourth one. I believe right. it will be the toughest. I haven't got there yet, but you know, I believe it will be. And it will be the toughest. So. And this is your fourth one. Yes. Um, now I heard the brother talk about how unpopular two tier was mm -hmm. on the floor, mm -hmm. and I know it's not popular with anybody. Do you think that you're going to be able to hold the line on those two tier wages? Well, uh, I, I believe that we'll do whatever it takes in order to be able to keep a company afloat and keep a union viable. So you uh, may have to compromise. Well, on no, that. I'm not saying that because okay. I don't know what negotiation. When everything's open, when you get to negotiations. Yeah. You know, the doors open up. Uh, um, I mean, will, will there be a discussion about two tier? I'm mad so. I know there they, will. They, it was last time and the time before then, too. Uh huh. Well, you know, at one time there was two tier in this time. Uh huh. And we were successful in order to be able to negotiate those brothers back into the forward system. Uh -huh. Do you remember that? And that happened twice. Well, they've got it now, though, right? Well, I'm talking about back when it was just down. When they first went to this town, uh -huh. they hired uh That's right, that's they hired right. Them. Yeah. We brought them in on the two and tier. You, you raised and them we up. raised them up. So, yeah. you know, our union's about raising people, not about taking them down. Mm -hmm. and, what, yeah, and with Ron's and, uh, and the negotiators' uh, leadership, uh, hopefully uh, we in the Ford Department get the opportunity to lead. I think we can set the best pattern. If you have the opportunity, you think Ford will lead? I know. For, I hope they do lead. I always do. Well, Ford seems to be in the worst position. Though. Well, you know, sometimes that's the best people to talk to first. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. I thought you went with the strongest company. No, because if you went to the strongest, then what did the weak do? Uh huh. Get weaker. Uh huh. So I mean, you know, I think I think we can work our difference out. If we went to Ford first. You're close to retirement, and I know that's yes, important I am. to you. Yes, it is. Um, well, you know, it's, uh, you know, I could have, I turned down the bio because I was supposed to be taking the bio and leaving. Uh -huh. But they asked me to stay for negotiations, so it's not about me; it's about what I can do for my membership to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and in the next uh, now, since there were already concessions on health care between the contracts, mm -hmm. do you think we're going to face more in the next set of negotiations? Well, I don't like say everything's on, everything's on the table. And, you know, so I, that wasn't taken off the table just because concessions were made last year. It's not off the table. It's well, cons no, because I, I'm, I'm not a privy to hear that information of whether it would still be on the table. I imagine everybody's going to be talking about the health care. Uh -huh. We're talking about uh, maybe even doing some things about getting it back for retirees. Yeah, I hope so. So, so I mean, that, that's our position going in, that, that we uh -huh. improve on what we lost. And are you from Vistian? Am I from where? Did you come out of a Vistian? No, I'm from uh, uh, Seminole. Okay. Uh, we build a focus on the okay. expedition navigator. Yeah. Because I was wondering about the pensions. Now with Vistian being four employees for life, quote unquote, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. how are they, do you, do you have any idea how they're going to manipulate that if those people that stay at Vistian? I know there's a lot of No, I don't. No, I'm not in the, I'm not privy to that either. Because uh -huh. I'm not in the negotiation. I know they're doing some negotiating out to uh, Sheldon Road right now, but the value, uh -huh. the value I haven't heard. But no, I haven't heard of it. What sort of strategy do you think it'll take us for the union to fight back? Are we? Do we have the strength to go on strike? Can we actually use oh, that? Oh yeah, we always, that have, we always got the strength to go on strike. We, do you think uh, that, that, that the, union, <laughs> the union might strike? It's a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility. It's always a possibility to strike. If you know. Oh. <laughs> If uh, you know if, if things don't go our way, yeah, we, we don't like to strike, but yeah, there is a possibility. Okay, you would strike. Do you think we would strike Ford as weak as they are? I believe so. 
Yes. You believe we would? Believe and what would the issue? Now, you know, you keep saying we. You know, I, uh, you know, I, I see Ford in a different manner. I, I know they're trying to reconstruct the, the business so that, it, you know, you say we. I see if they bring product back to this country, I don't, I don't see them being weak. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, you can give a perception that I'm weak and, and you're building plants in China and you're, and you're taking business offshore. I mean, is that a sign of being weak or is that a sign of... I question whether they're really weak or yeah, they're manipulating, you know, I'm not well, sure When you get that. bonuses to top, top executives, Thank you. I mean, how weak are you, you know? I mean, are you weak to the to the rims of the, of the Zex? Do you think they got the money for bonuses from UAW concessions that were made last year? Well, I, I, the, what they told us was, uh, and that's something coming from my leaders, that those was retention bonuses that they had already agreed upon uh -huh. before back when they was trying to reconstruct. You know? Yeah. But, you know, they gave us all $500 uh, per member. Uh, personally, I, I like to see that money go back into product. Into yeah, product, product, yes. yes. Into product, and I think that's, uh, that's the key. If we don't have uh -huh. products, how do you make profits? How do you keep jobs? Exactly. Mm -hmm.